Welcome. We're on step five, but before I do step five, I'm gonna go through what we've covered for the steps so far. So go be sure to check them out. Step one video was taking a discovery flight or an intro flight. Step two is going to get your FAA medical certificate. Step three is buying a logbook. Step four, which I've also called 2.5, is going to your local pilot shop. They will have the logbook there, which is why I put it as 2.5. So we're on step five right now, and step five is very exciting. Okay, so uh, I'm with flight instructor Michael Farlow, and he's going to talk to us about how do you find a place to go learn to fly. Well, thank you, Janet, for inviting me on your channel here. Guys, it's really easy to find a uh, place to begin to learn to fly. Probably the simplest thing is just get on the Google and just Google flight instruction, and then you'll be shown a list of names and places where you can go uh, investigate, see if that was to be the place you would like to fly. Uh, social media is another great opportunity. Uh, Jen and I originally found each other through Facebook, and then uh, we know there's many places we go on and we'll ask a question about aviation or where can we go get certain types of instruction and we'll get lots of great uh, responses saying go talk to this person or go talk to this particular school um, word of mouth is also really good because uh, this leads into getting recommendations from other pilots maybe even other students so if you know someone that is a pilot or know someone that is a student just say what do you know and that you probably will get a much really solid recommendation because they can tell you the places that they really like that they know is going to be quality instruction. Okay. And what type of places are available for going to learn to fly? They range all over and probably will start from the biggest type of thing down to probably the most straightforward that everyone is going to utilize. Uh, it begins like with the uh, flying academies. These are oftentimes organized very much like the trade school. Someone might go to learn how to be a diesel mechanic or an electrician or something like that. There also are the ones, uh, just regular old flight schools. Well, they are also very organized, but they kind of run under a different set of rules. Uh, and you can still get very good level of instruction there. There also are flying clubs. Flying clubs are oftentimes great places where you can rent a very good airplane to use. And many times those also have instructors, instructors that work for them. And then there finally would be independent instructors such as myself, where uh, if you have an airplane that we could use, I'll come to you. Or if you do not have an airplane, I could arrange for us to use one. And then we can make sure that you get uh, high quality personalized instruction. And that way you become the best and safest pilot possible. Very good. Okay, that's it for step five. Step six will be how do you find the flight instructor that fits you? And be sure to check that one out. Thank you for watching.